as far as a place where, where to catch these catfish on the Ohio River, uh, you can use your electronics. There's a lot of guys that, that, that depend on their electronics, but I'm more of an old school guy. I do use my electronics for finding depth and uh, ledges and such, but I also use my gut feeling and I see stuff on the bank that I like. And generally if you see a, a good fishy spot along the bank that has all the characteristics that you want in the, the fishing hole you got, like this is kind of like a little point, has a lot of rock cover and you know that's gonna come on down into the, the water here. Over here is like a small eddy with the current seam. We're fishing right on the current seam here. And this particular spot here also happens to have a big brush pile and about 30 foot of water behind us. So that's even an extra special bonus. But you want to just find the places that look fishy. Look like a fish would lay there. You don't want to really pick a, just a, a bank that has nothing on it. I wouldn't stop there to fish that. But a bank like this, it looks like it's got a big flathead in it. So there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Not a big one, but always fun to catch. All right, this is a this this bank right here looks like a pretty fishy bank to me. Also, I like around the uh, industry. Like anytime you get find cover, uh, any type of structure, that's where you're going to find your flatheads. We want to look in still the 30, 25, 30 foot range. If you look here on the depth finder. We're gonna fish that drop. All right, we're gonna anchor here in about 28 to 30 foot of water. We're right on a drop next to some good structure. We got the barred cells. We got rocks. We got logs. We got log jams. We got. Everything you need for a flathead catfish right here. So we're gonna throw some fresh skipjack out and see what we can do. Oh, there he is, there he is. He turned that loose. He turned that loose. That was a big old head too. I'm gonna pull it in and make sure it didn't double hook itself. Daggone it. Can't win them all. But he was around this fishy looking stuff. All this rocks and, and log jams and stuff, that's cover for small bait fish. And you know, the big flatheads are in here looking for that. Looking for the bluegills and sunfish. Anything else that hangs around that particular structure. Another good spot to look at when you're flathead fishing is, is a mouth of a little small creek or, or some type of fresh water coming into the, the Ohio River here. You can see a lot of rocks. This draws in little bait fish, bluegill sunfish, crawdads. It's an excellent place to catch a, a big old flathead. And channel cats, you know, for that matter too. The blues are going to stay more out in the center of the river in that that deeper channel. They, they may wander up in here, but this is more of a flathead layer here. Now he's hooked. Oh, Lordy. Come here. I know you can't hear it, but he's just peeling drag right now. Peeling drag. Here it comes. Right at the mouth of this creek, fellas. He's in here searching for some food. Tell me that ain't a nice flathead. Look at him. I don't know what he weighs, but look how big that head is. Let's see how he likes my hand. Woo. 
right there in that feeder creek. Guys, why wouldn't you want to catch a big fish like this? This is awesome. Woo! Let's get another one. 